Hello friends, today we'll open the Asus ROG Strix G16 2025. As always, you'll find everything about the laptop in our detailed text review on laptopmedia.com. The link is below the video. Now let's start. The laptop has a rear cover with a Q-latch locking mechanism featuring two indicators. One indicator is here, red means unlocked. To remove the cover, pull the slider and push it right. Red should appear in this opening as well. That's it, we're done. Here's how you open the Q-latch system from another angle. This quick release door lets you reach the RAM and SSD bays without removing any screw. The laptop has two SSD slots that, along with the RAM slots, are exposed. However, we will first remove the cover and battery. We start by disconnecting the ribbon cable to the motherboard. Done. Now we unscrew the first screw at the top left. We remove the loosened screw and proceed with the rest. The first and fourth screws are shorter. M2 thread with a 5.5mm threaded length. The other 14 screws are 10mm long. We use a JIS number 1 screwdriver to remove them. Sort the screws into separate places to speed up reassembly. Here is the second short screw. The total screw count is 16, 2 short and 14 long. These two screws, together with the bottom cover, also secure the battery. If you're interested in the battery life, read our in-depth review on laptopmedia.com. You'll also find how it fares against the G16's competitors. Cooling is handled by a revamped tri-fan system, a full-width vapor chamber, and conductor-knot extreme liquid metal on CPU and GPU. We didn't want to spoil the surprise in our review, but we can't miss telling you that this cooling system helps ROG G16 break our record for the fastest RTX 5070 Ti on the market. The two SSD slots, and the RAM are user accessible and can be reached without fully removing the battery. Still, Asus recommends discharging the battery to 25% or less before opening the device to reduce electrical risk. We will remove the battery first as well. 
With a thin plastic tool, we start releasing the cover's locking clips. Done. With the bottom plate off, you can see the sandwich heatsink and the three fan array stretching across the rear. The battery connector is under the little third fan. The third screw also secures the cover. We disconnect the fan from the motherboard. Please avoid pulling the connector by its wires. We detach the battery connector by lifting it upward while slightly pulling sideways so the red wires lose contact first. We remove the remaining two screws that attach the battery to the chassis. Here is the RAM. Both so DIMM slots accept DDR5-5600 modules up to 64GB total. We peel off the SSD's protective sticker. Stop. That was the wrong spot. Here's the right place. There's a locking tab instead of a screw. We lift it to about 15 degrees and pull it out of the slot. The thermal pad stayed stuck underneath. This is the M2 slot that supports PCI Express Gen 5 drives. It has SSD1 inscription. On the left, just besides the Wi-Fi card module, is the second SSD drive. It supports PCI Express Gen 4 drives. For wireless connectivity, we have a triple band Wi-Fi 7 card, 2x2 plus Bluetooth 5.4. If you need to know everything about the ASUS ROG Strix G16 2025, read our in-depth review on laptopmedia.com. The link is below the video. Thanks for being with us and have a great day.